Mahalo there. This me, your grandpappy, Grandpappy Louie. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, <clears throat> the last uh, last of our few stories here. Hey, hey, come here, you. The last few of our stories in Daniel. See, the uh, story for today is from Daniel chapter 6. It's a very famous story. It's about Daniel and the lion's den. Hey, dog. See? Daniel and the lion's den. Hey, leave my beard alone. Mm-hmm, yep. Hello. Now, so, oops, wrong way. There we go. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm, yep. There we go. Yep, mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> Daniel and I did. As you saw my ferocious lion perched on the windowsill. We uh <clears throat> we all know that Daniel was in the lion's den. Whoops, whoops, Daisy. Do you remember why? That's the question. See, Daniel, he was a very good helper for the king. And um he was doing all kinds of good stuff. The king really liked him. He was like buds with Daniel. And uh, everybody else was jealous. They're like, Well, how come Daniel's a favorite? How come he's so cool? What's so good about Daniel? And they tried to come up with something bad about him. They were thinking, hmm, maybe he's got stinky armpits. Hmm, maybe sometimes he puts his pants on backwards. You know, bad things. And uh, they couldn't find anything bad about him. They're like, he's a good guy. I wait. What are we going to do? And they're like, well, only way. We think, we figure, we reckon. We can get him in some kind of trap or another. Is if it's got something to do with him worshiping his God. Because no matter what, he ain't never going to stop doing that. And so, they're like, oh king. King, you're super cool. You are the coolest king around who has ever been a king ever in the history of kings. Who have done kingly things. And so, you should have this like celebration. Where everybody can only bow down to you and worship you. And if they worship anybody or anything else, they're going to be in trouble. And the king was like, you know what? I am pretty cool. I like this idea. Dog, come here. Come here. Hey, psst. Come here. Hey. Thank you. The neighbors are outside setting up a party. And the dog is like, what's going on over there? She wants to know. She said, why didn't they invite me to the party? And so she said, woof. And that's what happened. Anyway, so, <clears throat> with, uh, Oh, it's back to the story. So the king, he's like, yeah, I am pretty cool. I am, um, I'm a pretty cool guy, I think. So I think that's a good idea. Let's do it. And they were like, cool. So anybody who breaks the rules will throw them in the lion's den, right? And the king was like, yep, sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. And uh, so, um, uh, <clears throat> so that's what they did. Problem is, Daniel, he isn't going to stop praying to God. He loves God. He's a good guy. And so he doesn't. And then, those guys who were trying to catch him in the trap were like, ha, we were right, we did it, we see him. Mm-hmm, yep. And, uh, so they turned him into the king, and the king was like, oh man, I like Daniel, this isn't cool. And he tried to figure out some way to change the rules so that Daniel wouldn't have to go in the lion's den, but he could not. There was nothing he could do about it. So Daniel, he gets thrown into the lion's den. Don't leave the cat alone. That is my lion. In the den. Anyway, so <clears throat> he gets thrown into the lion's den, and um, <clears throat> King's all worried about it. He doesn't sleep all night long. He does anything he can do to try and save Daniel, but he can't change the rules. The rules are made up. They're already set. That's it. What the king says, that's the rules. And uh, so, <clears throat> come morning time, he goes in to see if Daniel's okay worrying that his friend got eaten by lions. And uh, he went to the cave and he said, Daniel. And Daniel was like, yo, what's up? No, not really. But he said that uh, God had sent an angel and he closed the mouth of the lions. And um, uh, <clears throat> and he was safe from eating, being eaten by lions. And so the king let him out and he was super happy and he was so mad at all the people who got Daniel thrown in the lion's den that he threw them in there instead. And uh, the lions ate the bad guys. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, 
That's the story of Daniel in the ninth den. And I hope that you, uh, that you learn that even though sometimes it might be hard to worship God, like if you're in school or something, that God will always protect you and take care of you, and that he loves you so much. And that when you follow him, he's going to take good care of you. I hope you enjoyed story time with Grandpa Louie, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.